All right, gamers, welcome back. We're playing Conan Exiles, and thank you so much for joining me. Hope you guys are having a great morning. We're back here trying something new. A game called Conan Exiles. Actually, it's been out for about a year now. It was uh, initially released back in uh, May 2018, uh, first week of May, I believe, as a full release. And ever since that time, they've you know they've put it out with some updates and this and that. And uh, now, yeah, I never really jumped into this game, and I want to give it a try. So there you go, it's about a year anniversary from that. I think in the past year they've actually released it on console now and so forth. You can get it on the PS4, I believe. Um, so let's check this out. We're playing this uh, on PC, of course. I've already chosen a bunch of things. We have chosen the Zamorian race, uh, which is thieves and all that kind of thing. And then uh, we're going to go with just, what was the religion I chose? Whatever the first one was. Healing and light, mitra, whatever. So we chose a few other things as well. Uh, we're going with a woman because at the beginning of this game, there's like an intro video and he... Conan basically saves this woman. I don't know. I think she becomes part of the story later on. I'm not entirely sure. But if we finalize our character here, we're going to go with the same kind of a character. We are Erica Von Slayen, an ancient relative to uh, Clive Von Slayen, who has been the, ba the main lead of our Outlaws of the Old West uh, playthrough. So here you go. Back in the day, it was Erica Von Slayen. This is how the family got their start. So she's the Zamorian. She's condemned to death and exile for crimes, including impersonating a priestess cheating at dice, and singing body ballads, so you can see why, right? So any who remove this body, living or dead, from the cross, will be flayed alive, along with all members of their family. So there you go. Things are about to get rough, but we're going to play like a beast, and uh, this is going to be like day one of Conan Exiles. So what we'll do, we'll watch the little video introduction here, where Conan now saves me, and then we will get right into the game, see how to start the game, try to survive our first day, and we'll talk a little bit about our settings, because this is a single-player game. So let's go, let's watch the video. During the Year of the Cobra, a prisoner captured by unknown means was transported into the exiled lands, crucified and left to die for crimes that they may or may not have committed. Death comes swiftly on black wings, until fate intervenes. Thirsty, dead woman. Shall I cut you down from that corpse tree? It might kill you. You civilized women are soft. Your lives are not nailed to your spines. I come from, we kill our enemies in battle. We don't leave them in the desert to die like dogs. So, you live again, dead woman. This land does not love men. You are marked. Cross the ghost fence wearing that. <laughs> it might have been kinder to leave you on the cross. Live, love, burn with life, slay and survive. We will meet again, dead woman. And just like that, we're in. 
pretty cool how your character is in the introduction of the little game here. So he comes and saves you, sends you on your way, and we basically have Dilly Squad. If we press I button, we got nothing. This is what we can make, but we got zero. So let's get that rolling. We start off here, top left hand side, you've got your health bar in red, you've got your stamina in yellow, and basically just above the red bar, you've got a little white bar that's going to start... Can you not pick that up? Okay, listen, look like we can. Um, you got a little white bar that's going to start growing as we do things, like picking up rocks. We're going to pick up some rocks. Not too many rocks. We actually have the gathering rate at 3% uh, because this is a single player game. So it'll speed things along for us. Here, we can talk to this talking rock. Behold, bonded one, the very boundaries of civilization. Beyond the passage of our highways lie the wild places of the world where untamed savages make endless war upon each other. You cannot pass into the endless wastes enslaved. Your bonding prevents it. Return. Follow the road. Any road. All roads lead to the city. There you go. Talking rocks. Sweet. There's more notes all over the place here if you want to hear like a little bit of an introduction, but we'll just take this guy's water skin for the time being. This water skin ends up right here. Let's stick it in number eight, shall we? Uh, more yapping in that note. We won't go through all of that. We're not here to listen to the story. We're here to get rolling like a beast. So we start grabbing stuff. And the reason I'm grabbing stuff, and I'm going to grab a lot of this things too, is, is get a little bit of clothing here off of these plant fibers right from the beginning, as well as this. Leveling up is what you want to get done. So you can level up fairly easily because you can't even make a weapon at the very beginning of this game. You can make an axe, but I mean, and, and a torch. It was kind of what they recommend you do in, in the letters, but we're not doing that. We're going straight for swords and stuff. That's right. So we can level up just grabbing all this kind of jazz here. You're going to need it anyways. In fact, we can probably start crafting right away. Um, let's get some pants on. Can we do that here? Craft button right there. Craft button right there. See, it doesn't take much. It just takes these plant fibers that we've been picking up, so it's no big deal. And as you craft it, which is pretty cool, she will slap it on as we go. So you can just craft and go. And she'll get her clothes on right away. Uh, which is a good thing. You're going to need all the protection you want. It gives you protection not only from enemies like armor, but it also gives you protection from the elements, which right now you can see my guy's pretty hot right also there's the journey steps clothe yourself uh, if you press j you get these awesome little you know exile journey here and it tells you what to do you know climb drink eat uh use a bedroll slay <laughs> craft a tool uh kick somebody and dodge actually dodge is alt key there you go and kick is the control key which we're going to get into that in a second here let's, let's kick there you go i've gained another level so you see you can get some levels real quick right off the bat and you want to do that otherwise you're not gonna be able to craft what you're gonna need so that's kind of why i'm grabbing stuff here we don't have to grab too much that's why you don't want to put your your gathering rate up too much either because then you end up with all the stuff you need and you don't get the experience points so let's just keep rolling here we have only a little bit of water in our water skin so you can't really dilly dally back here but i mean you have a little bit of time to level up Oh, what are we at anyways? We're at... So your unused points, three. We're not gonna, we're gonna get into that in a second. And also, the things that we can craft. So, the sword, for example, we need to be level four. We're already level three. So we're doing great. That's kind of one of the first things we're gonna want to get into. Let's grab a little more of this. We'll watch our encumbrance, though. We don't want to be overloaded with just fibers when we're starting this game here. Okay, we got sticks. We want this. You can just hold the E button down, which is nice, and she'll walk around and pick stuff up. There you go. Just hold. You can even run if you like using all your fingers. Here you go, like this. Ooh. Running and picking up, like over here. Also, you don't have to stick to this road. You can go wherever you want. I mean, this is the desert. You can go over here if you feel like it. But, I mean, if you feel like dying, I suppose. But we will go back and uh, grab a few sticks there. I don't know how those sticks got way over there. But you see, there's like ruins over there. You can go check it all out if you want. No problem. It's pretty cool. So I actually fired up this game a little bit, and I said, oh, you know what, I'm looking for new survival games and this and that. And then I said, well, why don't we try this game? And when I played it for... Oh, probably two, three hours. Man, it was fantastic. And I said, you know what? We gotta do a series on this. Okay, we got a monster there. Let, let's go after him, shall we? That just takes rocks and sticks. Let's go like this. Let's go like that. So our first source of food is gonna be those bugs we have there and down in number two. And we can eat those bugs. You get them just from harvesting the bushes, basically. Alright, we got an axe. Oh, well, you love the way she twirls it like it's a go. Craft a tool. We got our journeyman steps. We're doing great. Let's go take this guy out, shall we? He ain't get me. Ooh! Ooh! Oh, look at that. She's a beast. Look at him. He's running like a coward. Okay, very good. There's another journal. This guy tells you to start crafting tools, but no worries there. We're already ahead of the game with that. Let's go. Let's go. Pick up more sticks. These sticks, we're going to be picking up sticks for all eternity, basically. Um, 
what else can we make here? Anything? We should probably be doing some fibers. Do we have enough of this? What's kind of nice is you can craft here, and you can craft all 62 by hitting the space bar, or you can just do 10 at a time, which I'm going to do. Okay, yeah, hit F. And then you can clear the queue with, uh, with Q, which is kind of nice, actually. So I hit F twice, and I'm going to get maybe 20. Let's do it a couple of times. That's going to bring us right down. Because that's 30. That would be... Like, nah, it's not a lot. 30 fibers is nothing. We'd get that in no time. So we're almost level 4 here. We're going to keep going because we're going to be hitting the beach pretty soon. And we're going to need some kind of weaponry. That journal back there, that guy basically tells you, you know what? You just use a torch and uh, an axe. But, I mean, that's for that's for chumps. We don't play like that around here. Play like a beast. Let's go. Actually, we're still pretty far. Let's keep harvesting. What have we got here? As long as we've got some water, we're good to go. Here we go, man. She's picking up seeds, too. You'll notice at the same time, those seeds can be mixed with the fibers in, like, a campfire. And you can make some gruel, which you're going to need to do later on when, you're, when you've got captives and things like that. That's what they eat. So I'm not going to be eating that stuff. No, that's not what we're doing. We're going to eat bugs if we have to, but we're not going to be eating no gruel. That's that's for the slaves, man. That's what's up with that. Come on, pick this up. Are we not close enough? Oh, weird. All right. Let's keep going. There's nothing much to find out here other than just this stuff. Yeah, actually, let's, let's, let's eat a bit. There you go. I've gained a level by doing... That's another reason you should actually follow some of these journeyman journey what are they called journey steps so that kind of gets you some it looks like it gets you xp or at the very least it's kind of walking you through the tutorial what's up there okay those are those those are those birds we saw at the very beginning he ain't gonna do nothing now that we're moving around those things are cowards at the very least or at the very most i should say all right we see a little bit of civilization over here so do, can we now learn let's go to feats can we now learn the sword we sure can right here it says unlock at the bottom right one point and we've got three points available or you can just hit f and bam there you go sweet we should also learn to campfire what is that just one so you this this is what the item is here that you're learning and then you get all of what's in here so sometimes you get like a bunch of stuff like if i hit this apprentice mason you learn all of this in one shot it's pretty good for the price of one let's actually learn that <laughs> for the price of one skill uh or one what, what, what are these called recipes or available points whatever knowledge points there they are right there if i could read it'd be great uh, and then here you've got unspent points for vitality agility you know strength accuracy grit encumbrance uh and survival and you can read and it's got like these little perks and things but we're not going to get into that too too much right off the bat because except for we will get into this sword action here let's go there we are okay no no oh i thought i pressed f there okay can't can't build 10 of those let's get out of there all right, so we better get some water going here. And you'll notice the water also cools you down a little bit. It says on the top left there, cooling down. So that's kind of good. If you get over overheated, it's not it's not good for your character. Or either that, you start taking clothes off, which is not good because then your defense is down, right? So here we are. We're coming up on some some rocks and stuff. Keep our eyes peeled for enemies. I always like this kind of stuff. Look at this. Whoosh. <laughs> that's pretty cool. It's got, it's got some style, this game. I like that. And also has a fantastic building system, which is pretty much the reason I'm in. I, you know, I want to jump into this and give, give this a roll. Is because um, the building is great. Shattered bridge. Okay, what? Okay, no worries. I see a guy walking around down there. I see two guys down there. We better get some... We better get ourselves ready. These little... What are these things are called? There's a big turtle there, but they're harmless. Okay. Oh, you got wrecked. Two hits, buddy. This is why we don't have to increase our... Oh, wow. Okay. This is why we don't have to increase our our strength too soon. All right, so we can actually get out the axe, I believe. Well, both the axe or the pickaxe. Come on, man. Get in there. Volatile glands. Did I not? Oh, man, usually these guys are only two hits. What's going on here? There was an update uh, literally just yesterday. Or hours before I'm recording this, really. Um, okay, so there's like a big stank bridge right here, which is pretty cool to get to the other side, but you got to watch out for alligators and... Where is that? Oh, there's grub here. Let's pick this up. This is also food. Let's go fill up our, our water source. We'll drink what we got here. And you just come over here, hit eight. Bam, get your water back. Sweet. Now, I don't know what those... Bumblebees are in my inventory right there, but um, actually, let's move that around a little bit. I like this above the two. Like like so. Okay, let's just go like that. This, this stuff I don't want at all. And let's go... I don't know what those bees are for. Doesn't matter. Let's go. Let's go. At the very beginning of this game, we got to play like a champion. So what do we got over here? This guy over here. We'll give us some XP. So there's lots of battling to be done in this game, which is pretty good, actually. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This guy's not going down too quickly. Okay. 
You, you gotta stop missing him with the. Let's kick this guy. There. Oh, you got a piece of me. What a chump. All right, there we go. I hear, I hear some fighting or something. I don't like the sound of that. All right, let's get over here. Oh, he's only one hit. Oh, that's weird. Maybe those other guys were, were higher levels. I don't know. Okay, we got to camp. Okay, there they are over there. They're fighting something already. Sounds like there's two of them. We don't want to mess with that too much. What is it? Fight? Oh, they're fighting little goblin guys. Okay, no problem. No problem. Pick the wrong fight. Oh, there's three of them over there. I don't think we'll mess with that. Those guys are fairly tough. Let's get rolling over here, shall we? We'll go across this broken bridge. Right on day one. That's right. Like a beast. Scout and exile camp. Okay. Okay, we got exiles here. Didn't notice that. Oh, you ain't getting me, buddy. You know what? I'm just gonna swim away. Forget that guy. Yeah, you think you're gonna get me, buddy? Come on. We only have a little bit of stamina. Let's roll. Is he gonna come after me? No, he's backing away. Okay, that, that was close. I wasn't expecting that. Um, let's, um, let's eat. That's the only way to regenerate your health, really, at the beginning of the game. And, of course, we're hungry. Eat these grubs, man. Nasty. Keep your eyes peeled, though. There's alligators. So everything in this game is basically trying to kill you. That's what it comes down to. And so we will have to make like a base, this and that, but let's, let's explore around just a touch, shall we? Rabbits can be food. Let's go over here. I know there's a recipe up here, but there's, it's really hard to get to because the guy's like super strong behind there and there's like these crazy hyenas and all this kind of stuff. But what's that going on over there? Turtles. All right, let's swim across here. Maybe we can get up there. Maybe we, maybe we can do it anyways. I don't know. We're only day one. We can kind of, maybe we can up some of our grits or something. Get ourselves some, oh man. Get ourselves ready to go. And then we gotta find a safe spot. And so I do have this on um, like very long days and very short nights and very short like evening and, and, and morning. Uh, you can actually adjust that when you're playing that multiplayer. So I kind of have it like I have the daytime as long as possible, like as slow as possible. So it, nothing happens basically. Um, and then when nighttime comes, it'll go. So there's no real reason to day and night, whatever. So that, that for me, that's good. Because um, basically, what we'll do is we'll be able to record mostly all day long you know oh here we got box maker wooden boxes baby you know i want that we still have another level eh, i'm not too worried about too much here these skirmisher knives are sweet though we have a bunch of other things over here as well what's this camping oh a bed maker let's do that okay and here we want to get into the blacksmithing and all that kind of jazz later as well so that's that's where you learn that in your feats uh your attributes you know what let's do let's do a little bit of this agility is going to be a thing as is grit. So grit says up there on the top right. It says grit determines the size of your stamina pool. So let's get that up a little bit. How many points have we got? Let's put that up by three. And then agility is the measure of ability to move when wearing different clothing. It's not entirely true. Uh, it kind of it seems to reduce the amount of stamina you have to use. At least those perks do. You see the very first one, sprinting drains less stamina. So you kind of want to get to that, <laughs> I'd say. Um, so we'll throw two points in there, and then accuracy is mostly for the bow. Vitality is probably a good idea. Encumbrance is a very good idea. Survival, what does it say? It's a measure of your ability to live in harsh conditions. How easily you metabolize food. Yeah, that's important too, but not right now. Let's actually throw vitality on there. Just get our health up a little bit. Strength, we do pretty good damage already, so we don't have to worry too much about that. All right, let's go. Let's go. We want to be able to climb and run as much as possible. Let's see if we can't get up here in day one, shall we? Oh, 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 I climbed. I think I think that's what happened right there. Can I get all the way up here? I don't know. Your stamina drops pretty quick at the beginning of this. This might be the end of us right here. I don't know. I think we're going to make it. I think. She crawls pretty slow going up the hill, I know. We could have went around, I suppose, but our stamina is dropping. Okay, you're going to need to stand up pretty soon. You're going to need to stand up pretty soon. There it is. Okay, wait. There we go. Okay. This is a nice little area. Oh, what do we have here? We have a book. Oh right! Oh, I forgot about this. Here comes those guys there. So every once in a while, you're gonna see this kind of stuff, and it kind of and it kind of points you in the right direction. These guys are yapping. So what happens if we pick this up? E to interact. You learned a new emote. Submissive. There you go. On day one, you could read that little book if you want. There's just those guys. Oh, there's iron right here too. Okay. You know what? We should probably grab that. Oof. Yeah. Our our, our weight is gonna go crazy though. So we will have to make little little boxes, which is super cool. Um, we just gotta make sure we can get out of here. Oh, she can't go up that way? 
Okay, let's go this way. In behind the bridge here. Okay. We're doing spectacular. Also, there's like a great map in this game. Look at this. So we are right on the other side of this here. Um, and we should probably be paying attention to what we're doing here. So way over here... Actually, I'm not even close to it. I wonder if I should make my way over there. Or maybe we should make a, a home base here first. I don't want to be on the low ground. I kind of want to be on the high ground. If I've learned anything... It's high ground. What is that? We just got to keep our eyes open for enemies. See, there's a camp there. It looks like straight ahead, way over there. You can see the orange lights. So what about in here? Can I live in here? We got lots of rocks. I mean, you start putting down foundations and then this stuff kind of despawns. But... It's not too bad. We could live right on this cliff right here. Like a little house right here. We'd have lots of access to rocks. Although, I don't know if we have lots of access to food. We could raid that camp over there a little bit. Hmm. Okay, let's see if we can do that. Can we actually throw down a... What can we do here? Foundations? Oh, we need wood. Okay, so let's, let's grab a little bit of wood. There's trees all over the place here. And that way it'll give us a little bit of view too. That would be nice. Yeah, so I don't know if you guys have ever... Ooh. Okay, that's a big tree. Nice. I don't know if you guys have ever played this game, but actually, it's it's gotten really, really good. I think back in the day when it first came out, I mean, it was interesting. And I did try it, but... Oh, look at these. This actually gives you bark if you take out the pickaxe, right? This is handy to have this right here. Nice. Okay, it doesn't necessarily give us any wood, but we get bark off of those dry trees. That's fantastic. Okay, good. Good, we got rocks and trees right here. There must be a hazard around here somewhere. There's hazards everywhere in this game, other than that, whatever that is over there. But actually, this is a really good spot. I'm, I'm impressed. Okay, there's, there's not even enemies here. But we are going to have to find a way to get some meat. But we can go down and just harvest some turtles, really. Once you get meat, you're not really... Oh, I'm over-encumbered. Stink. Didn't think of that. 24 iron. Oh. Did we, did we not build? We did build foundations. Can we build another one? No, I need 35 rocks. Right... Can I build a chest? I sure can. Let's do that. I can only craft one, but it'll do. Ooh, okay. Are, are we good to go? Is she walking? Oh, she's walking slow. Stink. Oh, there she goes. There we built the box, and now we can run. Yeah, I think this little ledge right here would be super cool, man. Like, because these houses are... Let me see here. If I throw this down here like this, get rid of those stupid bees. Then let's throw that. We don't want that either. Okay. Yeah, look, look at this, man. These little foundations are fairly small, right? And I think we can kind of... Okay, not there, but... How far off can we go? We can go pretty far off here. Let's, 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 hmm. And then, of course, if you hold shift and then use your mouse wheel, you can kind of go like this, which is exactly what we're going to do. And then everything else will just lock onto that. I wonder if we could even get another one. That'd be cool, man. Right here. Oh, what do you do? Oh, my life. She almost jumped off the edge. I mean, she lost her mind. She, she's, okay. She's having heat stroke, folks. Hold on. Hold on. We got to eat some bugs. Okay, man alive. <laughs> I got the absolute jitters right there. Holy macro. <laughs> this woman almost went jumping right off, man. We'll just throw this down right there for now. That doesn't matter. Um, let's get rid of what we don't need here. We can do... What do we not need? Oh, well, we kind of need... Well, you know what? We don't need any of this stuff. Let's just toss it all in there. And we're going to end up collecting more. You can just shift click it right in, which is kind of sweet. Um, so what we want to make next is that bed. This thing right here. So we want the wood. Oh, 20. 20. We might have actually had that. We did. Oh, man. So you see the recipes are fairly expensive. Was it twine that I needed? We better take all that back. Man, we went and put it away a little prematurely, didn't we? Uh, yeah, here we go. Craft that bed, man. Here we go. Sweet. No, no. I keep pressing F for some reason. Oh, because of... Yeah. I know why now. From my Outlaws of the Old West playthrough. F to get into your inventory. In and out of inventory. Let's clear this out so we can actually see something. I don't like having this here. It's very nice that you can just hold down E, collect a bunch of good stuff, and get rolling. So this is actually seems to be seems to me like this is a pretty good little spot to start, but we are gonna have to find a, like a source of food basically. Put a little campfire down, but I mean we kind of came from one. There's turtles down below, which I guess is probably the best. But I wonder if we can make some kind of ladders and get down faster. Okay, I think that's enough, right? All right, let's make that bed. What are we missing now? Oh, we made the bed. What are we talking about? Let's go. Let's go. There we go. There we go. So you can just put it on the ground, too. It doesn't have to be on a foundation, which is kind of nice. But for this, for all intents and purposes, that's what I'm going to do right here. Uh, can we stick it right here? Okay. There you go. Spawn point updated, everybody. Fantastic. We're doing great. So we're gonna, what we can basically do is run around. Oh, gaining levels like a champion. What we can do is run around, get a bunch of resources, and then, um, you know, build like a little hut. Whatever. And get a few more foundations down. I just want to get my bed down right away, just in case something did come out of the air and take me out. But... 
I don't think there's too many flying enemies at this point, right? What was that? Was there more rock here? Yeah, so the gather raid's at three. That's not too bad, right? For a single player, I think that's not too bad. Not, it's not overly cheaty, but a, a raid of one would be pretty... Oh, stink. Uh, would be pretty... I think it would be pretty boring to watch. So if you just if you just hold the shift and drag this thing, I can actually choose, and I'll just say, you know what, get rid of those 37. And we'll just toss them out of our inventory like that. And we're not encumbered. Sweet. So, yeah, I think what I'm going to have to do is make a few more chests and just have, like, chests for, you know, wood and, and stone. And what I can actually do is harvest all of that off screen, right? But... What is that right there? That looks like a talking rock. What is this? I didn't even see this thing. What is this? What is a talking rock? Slave, Warmaker Plael has ordered the sealing of the borders, Ooh. including the destruction of the bridge. Oh. This is to discourage your treacherous kin from entering our lands. Oh. For hundreds of years, we have patiently welcomed your people into our lands, and our kindness was repaid with war. No more, bonded one. You will break the bridge, and as you do, think about the consequences of betrayal. Think about what your people have done to you. Wow, okay, man, he's triggered. Wow, that's fantastic. Talking rocks, man, that tell you the story. That's great. There you go. I actually think you can swing your axe at that. So let's grab a little bit of tree as well. We need, so you basically need wood and uh, stone to build your walls. And then you have to build your walls, literally. And then have them in your inventory and walk around with them. So is there enemies up there? There sure is. That's a camp. That's a pretty serious camp too, I would say. I don't know if we can raid that or not, but we'll see. Okay. So let's make... Let's see. How many foundations can we make? We should probably make as many foundations as we can here. What do we got here? Two more? More. Just keep running up. 35 rock. Well, that's serious. Okay, so we got a ton of rock here, though. We're good. We are fantastic, in fact. Uh, what do we got? More over there. We should climb up there and see, take a little look around. We got some nonsense up at the top of the hill there. But I do like that the map doesn't change. You know, this is one of these games where it's the map is not empty. Everywhere you go, there's camps and there's bad guys. There's there's enemies constantly trying to take you out. So that makes it makes it really interesting. I mean, for me, anyways, I, I find it very interesting because it's, it's it's not it's not safe. You're not safe at any point in time. So it's kind of neat. I, like, I enjoy that. So I'm gonna get into that quite a bit. We'll, we'll get our vengeance on them. Don't worry. But all right. So what we're gonna do is mostly. Oh, well, we need a door frame, right? Let's do a door. And then we're gonna need. So if I put down six. Right, we're gonna put down more foundations than that, but okay, we'll, we'll we'll do. Let me see, how many can we even do? Nine of those walls. We're probably gonna need about that many. Let's just do nine, shall we? Okay, so then let's throw down some more foundations. Can we do one over here? That'd be super cool. Oh, it is super cool. There it is, and there it is. Fantastic. Okay, you can also pick up your bed, so no worries with that too. We're out of rock. Fantastic. Is there a rock down here? There is. She doesn't handle uh, heights either. You notice that. She, she gets hurt from this. I uh, won't say the smallest of heights. It's kind of like a realistic thing, which is pretty cool. But this game, uh, it constantly feels like you're epic in this game. Oh, okay. And this is also pretty cool. You can just click on this thing here and repair. You can do it that way, or I could have just hit the number one button, basically, and it would have repaired. But you see how my axe is, like, worn out? I can click that and repair that one as well, even though it's not broken. Which, to me, that's awesome. I love that. All right, so you just wait for it to be fixed up. Here we go. There you go, there you go. So let's do one more foundation, shall we? So there are something called this uh, sandstorms in this, so you do kind of have to know where uh, shelter is if you haven't already built one, because the sandstorm that you see at the intro is not just for the intro, it actually, if you're staying in the sand biome, um, you're gonna get those every once in a while, and they're, they're gonna kill you. Oh, right. Uh, they will kill you if you don't, um, if you don't find shelter, which you can find shelter out, out in the wild. Oh, right, well, okay. You gotta watch that stamina, it drops like a stone when you're over encumbered. Take a little water here. We're doing fine as far as temperature is concerned. See if I try to run, she just walks. Look how fast the stamina drops. It's, <laughs> it's crazy. Okay, let's throw one right here. All right, let's do the door. And let's do some walls. Get that off of us so we can... This is cool too. Look where it says outer face. I love that. That's brilliant. Okay, so you know what you're doing. Because it does have like a front and a back look. I'm gaining levels. Now, you can gain all kinds of experience points by doing building in this game, but uh, most of it's going to come from combat. So, it's going to be rather combat heavy, I would say, in the next little while, because we got to level up. And once we get to those higher levels... Okay, we don't have a... Hmm, we're going to need two more of these. Can we build two more of these windows? We're just doing windows all around because they're awesome. No, I can't. I need more... 
More wood. Do we not have wood? Did I use it all up already? No, here's wood. Okay. And then we're going to want some of these. We want one, two, it's probably four of those. What is that made out of? Just fibers. Which we got tons of. Let's throw the sticks in there too. So let's go four of those. And then in the other stuff, I'm not entirely sure. I think we're going to need one of those. And then for the front, we're going to need... Did I not Did I not learn those other things? I probably didn't learn those things. Let's see here. Feats. Uh, there's feats. Um, no. It's got to be in construction. Here it is. Roofing. Sweet. Can we learn that? We sure can. Look, we got 15 available points. Man alive. Sweet. All right. So let's go for the stairs. You can just hit F. The, the, the fence maker thing is pretty cool too. What else we got here? Can we do... You know what? We should probably do bruiser. Defender, we get all that stuff going too. Thrall, Taker, I guess we'll get into that. Uh, furniture Maker's pretty cool. Oh, and this armor, we're going to want that as well. So you're learning all of this. You're learning the armor's bench, and you're learning all of this. But you still have to put it together. <laughs> and that's that's the challenge right there. So here's Born Arrow. It's arrows and this and that. Okay, we'll learn that in a second. Um, there's a lot of DLC for this game as well, which we'll see. Oh, we want to learn the blacksmith. Let's go with that. Oh, and that's it. We're down to one. So we can do iron tools next. It's going to cost us three, though. Hmm. Should have saw that, but I didn't. Doesn't matter. You see how fast you progress, though, at the beginning? It's not It's not a big... Am I overburdened? I am again. It's not like It's not like a big grind at the very beginning. Although, it can be as grind as you feel like it. But there you go. Okay. So we have our roofing now. We've got four of these. One of these. And then with our other ability, we should have been able to make... Yeah, one of these we're going to have to use, I think. Right, thatch, roof, top, end, maybe. We'll see. We'll see. We'll figure out what the piece is here in a second. Let's get number four up here. You just use your mouse wheel to flip them around if they're not quite there. Well, that I can't even see that. <laughs> oh, brutal. Um, like that, and then I can't see this. Oh, my life. I can't even see it because of the sun, I guess. Uh, let's take an educated guess. There we go. Sweet. Number five. Like that. And then... Hmm. You know what? I wonder what we can... We can just do another slope down, I suppose. But that would kind of seal it off. Let me see if we can do something a little better than that. Um, what we're going to want is... Let me see. What are we going to put here? What is this thing here? No, we don't really want that. Recipe thatch roof. Thatch roof end. I wonder what happens if we build that and put that on. What would I be missing if I did that? And then we got the inverted thatch slope roof and all that kind of jazz. I'm going to have to fix that up. Wait, did we make it? And then, no, no, right, right above here. Like that. Now, what can we, hmm, what can we stick there? I'm not entirely sure, actually. Let's see. Can we get this done? Uh, inverted thing? No. That might have been the wrong thing. Hmm. It's easy to take things apart. That's not like a big deal. But actually, you know what? We can just... This is just a cap, right? Let's do the cap and let's do one of these. I'm not entirely sure. That's not going to be what I want. So this thing here... Yeah, that's roof end. I can just dismantle and I do get some of my stuff back, which is really nice. So let's go five. Let's stick there that like that. Okay. And then our little our little cap here should, should do the trick. For the entranceway anyway. Come on, right up there. Let's see. There it is. There it is. Okay. Yeah, that'll do. That'll do. So, if I go in here, I should have some shelter? Or is it because I don't have a door? Maybe because I don't have a door. Hmm. Let's make a door. Where would that be? So, your, your crafting over here becomes pretty heavy with all of that stuff that you can start making. But you can sort them. It's got these little buttons here you can sort. But, yowzers, man. Okay, let's do 20 of those. And... Okay, let's grab some more wood. Where where would that be? So this this has a like a respawn rate on the resources as well, which is kind of cool. They don't they don't disappear forever and ever. Oh, you stinker! Okay, I just wanted a door, and you went and got all kinds of wood there. What's going on here? Okay. Uh, what are we carrying that we don't want? About fifty one rocks. There. Okay, what am I hearing? Did you guys hear something just now? I definitely heard some growling. Okay. My life. It might just be ambient sounds. I'm not sure. Otherwise, they'd be already attacking us, I'm pretty sure. 
So can we flip this around? I guess that's the handle there? I guess so. Yeah, we'll leave it like that. Doesn't seem to have any... That hold for more options. Oh, what do you get for the options here? You get uh, interact, okay. Oh yeah, you can actually, oh yeah, I guess you can sleep. Is that the deal? And you can dismantle and you can return it to inventory and cancel right out of there. But there you go, guys. There's a little first run here at Conan Exiles. We got ourselves a base, which is kind of nice. And uh, nothing killed us. So we're doing great with that. We're just gonna have to go get some food there basically in the next episode. So there you go. If you enjoyed this particular episode of Conan Exiles, don't forget to hit that like button. And hopefully we'll see you on the next one. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.